Check it out, there's a toilet paper cannon. That's what I'm talking about. Now really, this thing is fantastic. I take it to elementary schools and blast the whole crowd and you've never seen kids have so much fun with toilet paper. And indoors, it works even better because I had a breeze blowing right in my face here and that didn't help out any. But if you're gonna have one, you might as well have two. Now, you know it feels science, every video I make has a purpose. It's not just to make a mess like this one, it's to introduce and reinforce topics in science. Wait, more? I like the way you think. Well, before we can dig into that, I gotta make a little bigger mess. Now remember, science should be fun. So sometimes I have trouble controlling myself when I build these things. Case in point. I toilet papered my whole backyard and loved every minute of it. Let me show you how to build this toilet paper cannon. Everything is right from the hardware store on this one, so it's pretty easy. I got two five inch adjustable clamps and then I've got a two inch PVC flexible coupling, of course, a leaf blower, and then I've got a paint roller. I'd make sure to get those rolls of toilet paper that are extra large so you can shoot a whole bunch of stuff out there. Now, surely you might have seen these before on YouTube or elsewhere where people have just duct taped the paint roller right to their leaf blower. But that's not how we do things around here. I want it to be nice and clean. Plus, I want to be able to disassemble it and use this for other things. And these are worth your time to make. You can see I took mine in to the local news station where I do a segment called the Science Spot once a month and they told me afterwards that it was one of the favorite science spots of all time because they got to completely destroy the studio. And nobody got blown up this time. So that's a bonus because maybe that's happened in the past. And the canon very nicely outlines Bernoulli's principle. Now Bernoulli's principle is used to describe how flight works, lift, because it states that fast moving air creates an area of low pressure, which means the air around that fast moving air is at a higher pressure. And air rushes from high pressure to low pressure to try to equalize, so that air rushing into the stream of low pressure air pulls the toilet paper up into it and causes it to fly. Now, of course, gravity is still working on this, so as the air slows down, gravity is gonna be a greater force and pull it down to the earth. Now, you don't have to have a leaf blower. Just grab a piece of paper and put it right between your chin and your bottom lip and blow a stream of air over the top. That's gonna cause the paper to lift up into the stream of air and perfectly outline Bernoulli's principle. Let's go with four rolls total. Why not, right? Hmm, <laughs> well, I've officially made a mess. A bit of a problem up there. I think we'll figure that out. But you get the point here. The whole idea is make a concept in science and make it fun. Make a mess. Sometimes making a mess is fun. You know what? You should have one of these. No matter what you teach, no matter what you do, no matter where you work, you should really have one of these. Just to really mess with people's day. Give them a little dose of toilet paper. Tell them exactly what you think of them. Thanks for watching. Come on over to BLScience.com or click the subscribe. You know all that stuff you say at the end of videos or stick around. More videos are going to pop up on the screen. But the big thing here is this. Thanks for watching and keep on learning. <laughs> I guess that's an easy way to clean it up. Roll it up. Keep rolling. You got this.